guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you some easy ways to wrap your packages with just regular craft paper and make them look stunning. I'm also gonna share with you how to make this origami Christmas tree. It looks great on a package. It also looks great on a plate at Christmas. If you wanna know how to do all this, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. <music> Okay, for this first one, I'm just taking my um, craft paper. I've already wrapped my gift. I'm going to stamp a sentiment on a, on a card that I have punched on the top and the bottom. Then I'm just going to take a wreath that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to take some baker's twine and I'm just going to attach it at the top and then at the bottom. And I'm just going to tie it off in the back. This is a super really easy one. You could use any kind of wreath that you want to. I got this at Hobby Lobby when it was 60% off and it's 60% off right now. So go ahead and tie your sentiment on on both the top part and the bottom part. And then we're just gonna wrap it right around the bottom, the back of that um, present and tie it off. This one's a super easy one. It's a great way to use up any kind of wreath that you have left over from Christmas. And I always just write on the back of my presents who it's to and from because the front is the part that I'm trying to make a focal point on. And then just cut that off and you're done. That one was pretty easy. Look how pretty that is. The next one, I'm just going to take some red burlap ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around my package twice. And I'm going to do it twice because I don't want the craft paper to show through on the front part. And you can use any kind of burlap you want. Red on craft paper looked really good. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of a burgundy red. Then I just got these three little sprigs of um, greenery and I got those on Amazon. I'll give you the link to those if you want that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just stick it right down into that burlap to hold it in. And then I'm going to glue off in the back a little bit just to get it to hold in place. And that way they can take these off and use them for something else. Okay, then I'm just going to take some um, black and white um, Baker's twine, I'm just going to wrap it around. Now try not to wrap it around just straight. Kind of go at diagonals. It makes it just look a little bit better. And then just clip it off and tie it off in the back. And then I'm going to take this little deer. I got that at um, Hobby Lobby. It was like on a little stick. I broke it off. And I've got that for under a um, dollar. I'm just going to stamp a sentiment. And I'm going to take that same baker's twine. And I'm just going to add that to it as well. All right, see how pretty that one turned out? You can use anything on craft paper to make it look pretty. Okay, this next one, I'm just taking a couple little mittens. I got those at Target in the dollar spot. And I'm just going to wrap this jute string through them and then just wrap it around my present. And, and again, try not to get it just straight. Kind of make it at angles. And now if you're using the thin craft paper like I am, try not to do it so tightly so you get wrinkles. I'll have to fix this one in a little bit. Then I'm just going to take a little um, sprig of greenery. I'm just going to stick it right down into the top and pull it over to hold it in place. And then I got these little stars. I've had them in my little stash. I just painted them silver and I'm just going to glue those on. You can use anything that you have in your stash to decorate with. Any of your leftover stuff that you have. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more greenery in. I'm going to stamp a little snowflake on a little card and then I'm just going to tie that on with baker's twine. This is a great way to use up anything that you have left over from the holidays that you're not going to use. All right, super easy. Turned out great. On this one I got these little wreaths at um, Hobby Lobby. They come in a three pack and I'm putting two of them together and I'm just going to take some baker's twine and I'm going to tie it at the top, the bottom, and both sides. And just tie, make sure your string's long enough so that you can tie them off in the back where they meet. And then just kind of evenly space that um, wreath right in the center. And just turn your package over and we're just going to tie it off. That one's a pretty quick and easy one as well. Just kind of make sure it's straight and try not to wrinkle up your paper. I've 
I'm having a struggle with mine a little bit because it is a little bit thin. Then I'm just going to add a little sentiment to it. And you can get those cards at Hobby Lobby. They'll come in a pack already um, pre-cut and everything. And then just tie that off. There you have it. That one really turned out it's super simple and it looks pretty. Next one, I'm just going to take some jute string and I'm just going to wrap it around the upper top part of this um, package just a few times and, and at, an, at an angle. And I'm going to just tie that off and then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to wrap it from top to bottom exactly the same way I just did that. Then I'm just going to stamp a little sentiment. I'm going to attach it to my package with the same little string right there, right in the center. Then I'm just going to add some greenery and then I'm going to add some snowflakes. Now I just got those snowflakes at um, Hobby Lobby and I just painted them white. Just go ahead and stick them in there. Greenery and craft paper really looks good. I mean, you could literally stop right there and that looks really awesome. And then I'm just going to glue my snowflakes on. All of these are really quick and easy to do and they really look good. All right, there you have it. That one was super simple. The greenery really makes these packages. This one, I'm just taking one of these um, tree scenes from that I got at Dollar Tree. They came in a little kit. I'm just gluing it straight to my package. And then I'm going to take some burlap ribbon and I'm just going to come up around the bottom part of that tree and cover those up. I'm just going to glue this down. And I got this um, ribbon at, um, at Hobby Lobby. And just kind of glue it in there good so it stays. Then I'm just going to take some um, black and white baker's twine and I'm just going to wrap it around. This is a great way to just use up things that you already have. And then I'm just going to add some little green sprigs to it. And then I'm going to add just a little sentiment card to it as well. Then I'm just going to add a little pine cone right to the center of the greenery. And that's it. This one turned out so pretty. I really am happy with this one. This next one, I'm taking the little gingerbread man that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to paint them with the gingerbread colored paint. Next, I'm going to take a little white gel pen, and I'm just going to draw three little dots down the center of them. And then I'm going to draw off their arms. Now, I'm going to go by their legs and their arms. I'm just going to do a little swiggly line real quick and easy. And then I'm just going to put a little happy face on them. Then I'm going to stamp my package with a stamp and just kind of do it at, at different angles. You know, kind of get it spaced out good so that you have um, it staircasing. And then I'm going to come back in here in a minute and add a little bit more. I just started to do what I'm going to do here. And then when I figured out I still had some more space, I'm going to come back in and put a little bit more. Then I'm going to take some red and white um, ribbon and I'm just going to tie it around the box a couple of times. And then I'm just going to tie that off in a, in a knot. Then I'm just going to add a little um, cookie cutter to the center. I wish I'd had a gingerbread cookie cutter, but I didn't. It would have looked really cute, but I just had a tree, so I used what I had. Then I'm just going to add my little gingerbread man to the top. Just kind of angle them a little bit. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to stamp where I had excess space. And you can actually stamp all your craft paper before you even start if you want to do that too. That's always really cute. Then I'm just going to add a little sprig of greenery to it, glue it down, and that's it. That turned out so cute. I love the little gingerbread men. So I'm just going to take a burlap ribbon. I'm just going to wrap it around the center of my package, and I'm just going to glue that down. Next, I'm going to take some greenery, and I'm just going to, this is a, a garland, a 
a um, boxwood garland. It's going to go in a circle. I'm going to wrap it around several times to kind of make it pretty thick, and I'm just going to make a wreath with it. And you can get this at Amazon. I'll give you the link for this one as well. Just get that wrapped in good. And then we're going to take some um, black and white baker's twine, and I'm just going to attach it to the wreath. And I'm going to do it on both sides. Just make sure you make it long enough um, to go around and tie off in the back. Okay, next I'm just going to take this little tree with these little beads on it. I got this at the dollar spot at um, Target for a dollar. Attach it at the bottom of the wreath. And then I'm going to come over on an angle and add some green ribbon across the top to the other side. And then I got some little um, Scrabble letters to spell the word Noel. And I got those at Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. And then just add a little cinnamon card and you're done with this one. Pretty quick and easy. All of these are so quick and easy. All right, look how pretty that looks. Wouldn't you like to get that package? And this next one, I'm just going to take a top part of a Christmas card that I saved. Save your Christmas cards because you can really decorate with those. Just go ahead and take a ribbon. I'm just going to take my little... Um, glue glider, run it down the center, and I'm just going to attach that ribbon right down the center. And then I'm going to come down and, and attach it off at the back. Then I'm just going to glue my card right down into the center of that package. I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. Okay, next I'm going to take some of the baker's twine. I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom several times, kind of at, a different, at different angles. I'm just going to tie that off. Then I'm going to add a little uh, greenery sprig. And I got these on Amazon. I'll give you the link for them. And then I'm just going to add two little snowflakes to it. This was quick and easy, and it really looked pretty. Look how pretty that was, just with a Christmas card. So you need some cardstock. You need a two and a half by six, six by six, five and a half by five and a half, five by five, and a four and a half by four and a half piece of cardstock. We're going to take first our six inch. We're going to fold over to make a triangle. Open it up, fold over, and make another triangle. Open it up. We're just going to fold straight down the center part. Open it up, flip it over, and fold the other way. So that's how it looks. Then you're going to have little indents on the side. You're going to meet that side to that side, and you're just going to make a triangle with it. Then turn it, and we're going to fold right down to the center. So you're going to kind of diagonal down to the center on both sides, and make sure that they meet in the center right there. And you're going to do this to all four pieces. Okay, and I'll go slow again a little bit here. Go your triangle. Go over on the triangle on the diagonal side. Open it up, do the diagonal again to make a triangle. Open it up, you're going to fold it over. And use a bone folder to make this, uh, flip it over and then fold it again. The bone folder is what's going to make this lay flat. Then now where your little triangles meet, where you have like the little valley in there, fold it over and make the triangle. Then we're going to come down to the center and fold that over. Meet in the center on this one as well and fold that over. This is pretty easy. You're going to do it to all four pieces. And if you need to stop in the middle to see exactly what I'm doing, you know, just stop and take your time. But this is a pretty easy um, project, and it makes a beautiful Christmas tree.
Okay, then you're going to do exactly the same thing with the last one. On the, this one, you're just going to kind of make a tree trunk on it. So you can kind of make it just as wide or as small as you want to. I'm just kind of folding it over till it's about maybe three quarters of an inch wide. Now I'm going to start assembling them. I'm going to take some double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on the inside. This is how these are going to go together. You can start with the smallest one at the top and the largest one at the bottom. And I'm just going to put double-sided tape in the bottom part of all of these except for the largest one. Okay, now we're just gonna start assembling them. Just gonna take this, the bottom one, put it inside the, the next size up, and just glue that down. Just kind of arrange them so you do have a, a tree effect right there. And then on the little stem or the little trunk, I'm just putting a double side tape down that one, folded it over, and then put some double sided tape at the top part. Just figure out exactly how far it goes in. And then just go ahead and peel that off and stick that in. And that makes a super cute Christmas tree. You could use this for so many different projects. Okay, for this one, I just took some burlap ribbon and wrapped it around the center. And then I'm just taking some baker's twine and wrapping it around and tying it off in a bow on the side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take some double-sided tape and put it down three places in the back of my tree and then down the trunk of the tree. And then just go ahead and peel those off and just glue that right down to the center of your package. Alright, see how pretty that is? Then I'm just going to attach a little sentiment card to it. And that was pretty much easy. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.